Hi, my name is Brittany and welcome to my video. Today, we are going to talk how to come in Canada as a caregiver. So, I will give you what are the requirements in order to come here. First, you need to gather your transcript of record. So, kung hindi nyo pa nakuha yung transcript of record nyo, pwede kayong munta sa paaralan nyo at magkuha na kayo doon. Second is your high school diploma. Yes, you still need your high school diploma. The third, valid travel passport. So you need to have a valid travel passport. Kaya kung malapit na ma-expire yung passport nyo, pwede na kayo mag-renew. Mga 8 months ata, pwede na kayo mag-renew 8 to 6 months. Mag-renew na kayo ng passport nyo. Police clearance. The fifth one is the police clearance. So, kailangan kayong, for example, pumunta kayo ng tatlong countries yung napuntahan nyo. So, sa tatlong countries na yun, lahat yun kukuna mo ng police clearance. After that, you need to have a work experience. Yan yung number six, yung work experience. For example, nag-aalaga ka ng bata, so uh, you could go for the child care or yung nag-aalaga ka ng matanda, yun naman yung elderly care. Kasi kung anong work experience mo, yan din ang mapupuntahan mo, ay, yan din ang hanapin mo na trabaho. For example, child care ka, magiging, ana, yung trabaho mo dito sa Canada is mag-aalaga ka rin ng bata. Kung nag-aalaga ka ng matanda, pupunta ka ng Canada, mag-aalaga ka din ng matanda. Seven, you need to have a reference letter from your employer. Kailangan kayong kumuha ng reference letter. Kaya, before that, magsabi kayo sa amo nyo na kailangan nyo ng reference letter para makapunta kayo dito or gumawa kayo ng paraan kung paano. Number eight, you need to get your birth certificate from PSA, not from NSO. And if you are married, you need to get your marriage certificate also. Number nine, educational credential assess. Your result must be Canadian post-secondary education credential of at least one year. Ito dapat yung magiging result new. What are the institutions but you are allowed to do your credential assessment. So first, the Comparative Educational Service University of Toronto School of Continuing Studies. The second one is International Credential Assessment Service in Canada. Third is the World Education Services. So ito lang yung mga accredited schools na pwede kayong magpa-assess na mga credentials nyo. So, if you are worried at nagtataka ka kung makapunta ka ba ng Canada or hindi, uh, kung ako sa inyo, unahin nyo munang magpa-assess ng credentials nyo kung makapunta ba kayo o hindi. And then, you need to take a language test at kailangan kayo makakuha ng score na 5 for all the category. Sa IELTS man or self-tip kayo kukuha. Your score must be 5 in writing, speaking, listening, and reading. Before I forgot, you need to get your Form 137. Ito yung grades new noong first year high school hanggang fourth year high school kayo. Makukuha nyo yan sa registrar office. Kung wala kayo sa Pilipinas, pwede kayong mag-aas sa relatives nyo or sa mga kaibigan nyo pumunta kung saan kayo nag-graduate ng high school. And then, about sa police clearance, ito yung sinasabi ko na kung saan kayo pumunta na places. Ito yung kung nagtrabaho kayo sa ibang bansa or nag-vacation kayo doon na umabot kayo ng 6 months or more than, kailangan talaga kayong kumuha ng police clearance. If you have all of these requirements, what you need to do is to find a valid job 
offer it to do is to find a legit agency that this agency will could give you a legit employer or you ask your relatives friends na maghanap sa iyo ng employer and that's why hindi ka na mangangamba kung yan ba ay totoong may employer ako pagdating ko ng Canada may trabaho ba naghihintay sa akin you need to submit also two photos of yourself mayroon yan silang ibibigay sa inyo na size kung anong size na sinabi sa inyo yun talaga yung susundin nyo Kasi kapag iba may pasan nyo, ere-reject nila yan at mag-re-request sila uli ng size na gusto nila. Actually, ang photographer, alam na nila yan kung anong size, sabihin nyo lang for Canadian visa. After this, ang IRCC mag request yan sila ng medical exam. So you need to be healthy in order to pass the medical and then after that, maghihintay ka na ng visa mo papunta dito. God bless and see you soon here in Canada.